My name is Miss Rose. When I was a, a little girl, it was the war, World War II, when I was young. Yeah. Well, we weren't allowed to go out and play if there was an air raid warning. We, we never went only to the shops. We never went to London, to any places like the zoo or anywhere. We just had to stay close to home to stay safe. There was all different type of bombs. There were small bombs, which were called incendiary bombs, and when they hit the ground, they made a fire. Then there was bombs that just exploded, big bombs. And then other bombs, which came down but didn't explode at all, came into the garden or came into a park or whatever, and they would go off after a time. So you never knew when they were going to go off at all. They'd come over and you'd be looking and they'd say, nothing. And then we had shelters, Collegate's Garden, oh, yeah. Alan. So myself, we didn't suffer. But we, people that were suffering in, in London, the homes were bombed or the children or we, we looked after them, well the nuns did, so we, they came to live with us and we call them evacuees. And evacuated means they were sent into the country, away from the bombs and uh, away from the mothers and fathers. And for all that time, for four and five years. Well, that was me in my class at school, St James's Church of England School in Edmonton. How old were you in this picture? But how old? I, in that picture, I was about nine. We loved being at school. But when the air raid came, we used to have to be in the air raid shelter. We missed a lot of school because we couldn't go out onto the street if there was a the siren had gone to say that aeroplanes were coming over to drop bombs. So we had to stay in the house and go down the air raid shelter that was in our garden. And one of the songs one of our teachers was singing was a wartime song and it was about people going to war and leaving their mums and making their sergeant major who's the head of the army, making them their mums. And the song was, Kiss Me Goodnight, Sergeant Major. We all love you, Sergeant Major. When we hear you calling, show a leg. Don't forget to wake me in the morning and bring me round a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, you can buy a lot of things with one piece and two piece and two piece and three piece. If you had one of those, mm. you were very rich. If you had one of those, <laughs> you, you, you could buy a lot of things. You could buy, now, with that, with that one penny there, you could buy an awful lot of sweets with that. After rationing was over. Could you buy a pint of milk or something? Well, probably two p tuppence. What we used to call tuppence. Can you show me what this picture's about? At night time, when the air raids were on, or during the day, but, but mainly during the night time, the fathers and the mothers used to go out and they used to be known as home guard or air raid protection people. Now, when they went out, they had to make sure that no lights were showing anywhere from the houses. If there was lights showing, they would knock on the doors or, or on the windows of those houses and make the people pull the curtains right down or make sure that no light came out at all. Now, you know why it, it should show no light? Planes would see the light and they'd know where to drop their bombs. 
so everything had to be dark. There was no street lights on. And the bottoms of trees used to have white lines around the bottom of, of the sea, just to show you where the trees was if you were out at night. So there was no light showing at all. My husband got shot in the hand in Italy when they were trying to rescue all the Italians. So that's why they got medals. He was an engineer, a royal engineer. So the, he already had these when I married him. <clears throat> How did you get your food in War World II? Well, we had to have rationing and we had so a little bit of something every week. And I can tell you, we had four ounces of bacon, two ounces of cheese, two ounces of sweets, which is like that for a week, eight ounces of sugar, two ounces of tea, and even eggs were rationed. We used to get one egg every two weeks. That's if the chickens were laying well. But sometimes the chickens didn't lay very well. So there was no eggs that week. So you just went without. So. <clears throat> World War II, I, I, you know, I, when, you, when I look back at it now as, as somebody who's grown up, it was terrible. It was really, really, really bad indeed. Goodness me, I'd, I'd decry war right down to its line. It, there should never be a war. The, people should be able to talk to each other and to get over the troubles by talking to each other, not by shooting each other and killing each other. No. That's no answer. Well.